here inside the Shark Tank in San Jose, and the deal is real. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Oilers kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. San Jose's in transition. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. The Oilers cross the blue line and are on the attack. San Jose's got the puck. Through the neutral zone and along. Oh, dumped right over the boards! Well, yeah, and he's in the opponent's bench. This one's embarrassing, James. I mean, you're in your opponent's lap here, and you've got to follow your way out back to your side. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a shot! Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. CeCe's got it in the defensive end. Moves the puck over to Dreisaitl. Great reach with the poke check. Here's a short pass to Eklund. Good check, frees the puck up. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Eklund. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Benning. From behind his own cage, he grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. Boom! What a hit! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And that goes off a player in front. How did he stop that one? Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Puck grab by Koonin. What pressure here in the offensive end. Flashing the leather on this save. The shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Kunin's got it along the wing. The Oilers gain possession. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. hands to be able to pull the goaltender to the side that he wants and then to just lay it home. He doesn't even have to elevate the puck. He uses the low part of the net. Edmonton's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if they're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You gotta play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Nice zone entry on the left side. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it over to Declare. Slides the puck across to Knizov. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. Sends it out in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Getting into the later stages of this period. one nothing to score. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. 
And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Handles the pass from the right wing. The Sharks played along the boards. Taken along the wall by McDavid. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Hammers one. No room for that one to get through. Rocked him in the open ice. Into the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Sends the pass in front. And that's stopped. Scores! All over the rebound. And tucks it in for the goal. My opinion, these are the types of goals that eventually win championships. The hard nose playing, the grit and the tenacity to fight for those rebounds. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. Edmonton's come to play tonight, now leading by two here in the first. Well, a consistent effort through the first period here, James. I'll just want to wind it down and make sure they head to intermission with that two-goal lead. But it's all about the number of shots they're putting towards the net. You know that they're coaching. Net and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Let's it fly with the stop. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's got a 2-0 lead. The Oilers win the faceoff. And that's blocked away. The Sharks are in transition. Moves it to Eklund. Slides the puck over. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. And the puck's kicked free. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. With possession along the wall. Great save from in tight. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. San Jose is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle.
making this a one-goal game.